Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video we're going to talk about how you can encrypt your save game. So nobody can crack that. So let's begin. For that, let's just create the project of Game Maker Language. Let's call it Save Game. You remember from last video, we did talk about uh, Sean Wei that uh, he did save the game as base 64 encode and decode and we cracked that and after that we use secure save data and secure load data that game maker recommend us to do for saving the game and we cracked that as well no I, i'm gonna show you how you can encrypt your save game so nobody can crack that like most of my video i did create a a script and object in here so it will make it easy to explain it and make it easy to implement it in your game so for that just go to marketplace open marketplace and in here just search for encrypt saved game add it to your account and after you add it to your account just go to game maker and in my library refresh it and find that encrypt saved game and here it is just download it and click import what you need in here, of course, you don't need any of these, but for testing, I just add these just for testing. What you just need is this script if you have game already. So add this, we don't need this room, but uh, this is probably just for testing. You don't need to add it if you have your game and no imported your project. No, that is imported. Let's close this my library. And in here we have, uh, we have a button that had draw function. It's just drawing the experience that our player have in our game so we want to save that experience or money or whatever so with left press whenever they click on that button uh, the amount of experience increased by 100 okay it's just for testing so let's just add this button to our room make it a little bit bigger and let's just open this obg save game you see that it, it just have a create event and in that we say save the data in it okay and this save data in it is just create the files that we need to save our game so we should add this to our room so let's just add it up here and now everything is ready and we can go to a script and explain to you everything so you see this is an struct that i want to save in my files so it has credit it has level it has experience you can add list you can add map you can do whatever you want in here whatever you want you can add it in here and load it wherever and whenever you want so this is the struct that we want to save this save file name is the file name that we want to save our file with so you can change this as well and the most important things in here this encryption key so this encryption key you can change it it's just a random strings so we encrypt our save game with this random strings so you can change it so nobody can crack your save game i, cr I created some function for add add credit add experience decrease credit decrease experience it's it's too, it's, it's too easy to do that so if you want to decrease like experience or if you want to add a level you can just copy and paste this add function in here paste it in here and just rename it to add level and the amount that you want to add to level and and you should change this as well so it should be level because we want to increase level all right so after that if it check it's it's checking if the file exists and if it exists it, it will stringify it and put it on the json and save that file with save strings so this way the level will be increased for decreasing the level or decreasing the experience you can just copy and paste this save decrease credit for experience so we copy and paste it and in here instead of credit we want to decrease our experience so we should change these to experience and just by this you will decrease your player experience i don't know why you should do that but it's just for showing you how you can add these functions so it will make it easy to save your game whenever and wherever you want with these functions of course you can just copy and paste copy this um, line of code and use it wherever you want but this way just creating this function it will make your life easier so the magic is happening on the save a string and load a string so all the encryption will be in these two functions but before i show you how i did it 
let's just go to save data init you remember we add a object to a room that is obg save game and it should say save data init so if we go to our script in here you see that save data init is here and if it check if the file is not exist just created with our data and if it's exist just load the data from that file okay it's just all that it it do so when they open their game it check and the file exists and load all the data to global player for you so global.player is what you did save before and you want to load it so let's check it let's run it and whenever we click on this the experience will be increased by 100 okay and let's just go to see what it did save in our files so let's just go to save games open this file with notepad and you can see it's just gibberish no one can decode that of course there is always a way to crack your save game but this way it's too much hard to do this you can find a site that can do cracking this for you you should it's just too hard to crack this so if somebody can crack this please uh, leave it in comment so we can make it better but i don't think that if you don't have this let me show you this encryption key i don't think that you can crack this save game so you can't increase your level you can increase your money with just editing the text file like before if we close it and open it again it should load our data so you can see 300 in here before i explain the method that i use to encrypt or save data i want to show you something from my each account so you can see here that i upload some sprite that is um, everything that you need to create a top-down game so it has a lot of environment to create your game and you can see it in here and you can see that there is a lot of tank there are a lot of hosts and cool thing let me just show this fantasy tank in here it's just too cool to have it in your game if you want to help me you can buy this just for, for um, less than five dollar um, you can see that i did upload a lot of cool thanks cool tanks with a lot of details on them and this is our hoses this is environments this is american tanks this is germany tanks and they they all have history on them so more american thanks and that's it if you want to help me just please buy this i will put the link in the description down below so let's move on with our video so i did tell you that all the ma encryption magic happen in save save a string and load a string so let's just open the save string first of all we create a buffer that save um, signed value of 60 bit not white bit okay so when they when we create this buffer we iterate through our strings a string that we want to save and we get the byte value of first character in our string and after that we get the first byte value of our encryption key string and we add them together and we write it to, to our buffer as a signed 16 bit value and after that we save it and in load the string we just do reverse of that so uh, we again load that buffer and after that we we read the buffer as signed 16 bit values and we in save a string we said plus and in load a string we said minus and we convert it to ANSI car and we return it for our load a string so we can use it to parse or save data to the JSON so we can use it wherever we want so that's how easy you can do that so just add this from marketplace to your project and change this encryption key and your game will be saved encrypted and no one can crack your game i hope you like this video thank you very much for watching bye